We're just 10 days out from the Texas Craft Brewers Festival, the largest annual celebration of small and independent Texas craft breweries. This morning, we're getting a look at one of the many breweries featured this year. Tierra Nubaum is live at Holdout Brewery with the details. Hey, Tierra, good morning. Good morning. I was helping the guys make a lager this morning. They said that one's going to be ready in about six weeks. It's a partnership with Stage Studio, and it'll be perfect in time for Halloween. Uh, but before then, we have the Texas Craft Brewers Festival coming up October 1. Caroline, what's going to be happening at the festival? Who's going to be there, and uh, what's the vibe going to be like? Yeah, so Texas Craft Brewers Festival is the largest festival focused exclusively on Texas brewers, small and independent Texas brewers. So we're going to have 82 breweries from all across Texas, from as far as Lubbock and Amarillo to a bunch of breweries from right here in Austin. I love that. You get a taste of Texas all in one spot. Where is it at? How can people get tickets? What do they need to know as they plan their trip? Yeah, the festival is October 1st at Fiesta Gardens in East Austin. Uh, tickets are available at TexasCraftBrewersFestival.org. Uh, and the big thing I'd like to share is we're like about 80% sold out. So folks, definitely want to make sure they grab their tickets in advance. Don't bank on them being available for festival day because I think we are on track to sell out for well, sure. Congratulations and yeah, we're excited about it. Excited to celebrate Texas beers. Uh, this is put on by the Texas Craft Brewers Guild. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the organization? Yeah, I'm the executive director of the Texas Craft Brewers Guild. We're the nonprofit trade association representing about 300 breweries all across Texas. So we're really focused on promotion with events like this, education, and also advocacy. We're working to change some of our beer laws to make them more friendly for small businesses. Support our small businesses, our small breweries, and we love Holdout. Sheila, what's on tap here? What are we pouring this morning? So this is Nice and Clean, which will be on tap at the Texas Craft Brewers Festival, along with our Leaf Peeper, which won gold at the Texas Craft Brewers Guild Cup, uh, the first inaugural one earlier this year. And then we're also going to have Carlita and our Schwartz Beer in collaboration with Oddwood. So when people come out here to hold out, we're kind of getting a look behind the scenes right now. What's going on this morning? And then on a regular basis, what do you guys have happening here? Yeah, so we're open seven days a week, um, only PMs on Monday, but we have a full kitchen. We have a variety of beers obviously made here all over the spectrum. And then we also have some uh, wine cocktails and some wine and cider available as well, mostly around Texas based. Okay, so you guys are right next door to Better Half. We, I, personally, I always think of, you know, going to grab some food, go to Better Half, but you guys have a full menu of food here, too. In fact, uh, Jane, our traffic anchor on Good Day Austin, she pinged me and said, best wings in town right here. So what else is on the menu when people come to hold out? Absolutely. So, yes, we do have uh, the same executive chef team across both properties. We have an in-house bakery team. So every bread, every pancake, every, you know, hamburger bun is made in-house. Um, we have a brunch that we offer Saturday and Sunday. Wings are available every day, Monday through Friday, and then in afternoons on the weekends. And they are, uh, they're brined and for 24 hours, and then they're baked and then they're fried to order and we have three different flavors on tap right now absolutely delectable okay you're gonna help me pour a beer here this yes. morning i'll hand you my mic you give me the cup awesome we'll and uh, what do i need to do all righty so the first thing is you're going to want to rinse the cup so just like a one or two seconds hold it down there you go you're good to go and then shake it out make sure that yeah you know you want more more beer than water and then we're going to pour the dominguito so this is notified by dom going to open it up hold the glass at about a 45 degree angle like this? And yes and keep it there for a while pull that tap hard and then rotate up that's all right we're all oh, learning that's together a lot of foam. that's a lot of foam do it again it's because okay. we so the yes you can dump it rinse again wasting beer that's, that's all right cool. pull the tap <laughs> fully open okay there you go. And then keep it at that 45 degree angle until there you're about three quarters. Go. Now start tilting up and then close the tap. Light and you want to keep that up. There you go. All righty, Sheila. Thanks for the help there. Uh, took one try, Casey, but we are gold. And uh, Texas Craft Brewers Fest, we've got details on that at fox7austin.com. Click on the Good Day tab and cheers. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Cheers, Sarah. That was a good pour. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.